I was um, the, the way it used to work then was uh, you played for your school team, then you got yeah. your district team, which was a, my mine was Newham. Yeah, and we would play over Macmillan Stadium uh, Saturday mornings or two night games, and that's where all the scouts would go and watch, and there'd always be West Ham scouts there. Yeah, uh, and, that, and that's where most of the lads got picked up was playing for the district team. So I would have been under tens, under elevens when I was asked to to go and train at West Ham. So um, you know, it's fantastic for me to go and do that. So, yeah, yeah. Was it always... I think, I think a lot of the lads in our team would have, would have gone and done the same thing. Yeah, you know, four, five of the players, all, all kind of decent players. If you're playing for your district, you're not bad. So yeah, yeah so it was. Um, yeah, a few of us would have gone along. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and was and I know you went. And I remember I read somewhere that you, you you spent your summers at Man United um, occasionally. Was that right? Yeah, that's when I got to about under under fourteens, under fifteens. Yeah. Um, the guy called uh, Malcolm Fidgin. He Quite kind nice. of seen me playing for my district. I played against Harlow. I think he was a teacher from Harlow. Yeah, and he. Um, he said he seen me play, didn't do bad, and he said he had to watch me play for my county before he could, you know, ask me to go to Manchester United. And uh, I, I think I played for Essex, did all right, and then he asked me to go to Man United. And, and I did that for about 18 months. I would go in the summer, um, mm. Christmas, uh, like Easter, and just spend a week, 10 days up in the Alza residence in Salford. Wow. And I wow. really, really enjoyed that. Yeah. So... I, I was always going to sign for West Ham, which I did, you know, I think under 15s, under 16s, I stopped yeah. down to Man United and, and went to West Ham. But I, I really, really enjoyed it there. Yeah. For some reason, I'm a bit of a home bird. Yeah. For, I, I really enjoyed it. I, and they, they were really nice. And But they, they did want, they did ask to sign me, you know, for would have got like a, a two-year AP and a, and a first-year pro, that kind of thing. Yeah. But I, I was always going to. Going to sign for West Ham. Always going to sign for West Ham. Yeah, yeah. Obviously you, no. you sign. I mean, you sign school boys, didn't you? Then, um, I mean, you was part of the FA Youth Cup winning side as well, wasn't it? Obviously, we won the FA, the, the big one, the season before. Then eighty eighty one, um, you lifted it as well. Only the second time we we won it once more since then. But still, you know, we hadn't won it for thirty odd years or something like that. The FA Youth Cup. No. So that was a, a great achievement for you, your yeah, team, we particularly. A, yeah, we had a we had a really good side. We had. Yeah. Um, Paul Allen was involved. We'd already won the FA Cup. He had an <laughs> FA Cup winner's medal before he played in the FA Youth Cup final, which is, which is a bit mental. Uh, yeah, Bobby Barnes played in the first team. We we had like five or six players who had all played in the first team. Yeah. So we, we have a strong team, a strong yeah. team. And, uh, yeah, we beat Spurs in the final, which was um, that's not a bad thing, was it? Not a bad thing. That was New Year's <laughs> yeah, exactly. Day, the Spurs one. And uh, I, yeah. I room with Tony the night before. Neither of us knew we were playing. So yeah. we just had a, had a bit of a laugh that night, watching a bit of telly. And uh, <laughs> and then John called us in about, about two o'clock, like an hour before the kickoff, and said, like, you're both playing. And I thought, oh, okay. So, uh, you know, 30 odd thousand at Upton Park. I think it was on the telly. Yeah. So, um, yeah, he didn't have time to get nervous, you know. So it was a master stroke from John, really. Mm. And, and then Tony scored after about 10 minutes, I think 10 15 yeah. minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. great team performance. Yeah, I, I don't really, really think you would used to think about the first team at that age at all, you yeah. know. Even like these, these days, the academy is so full on. Yeah, like we, we, we would train on a we're under 11s, 12s, 13s. We would train on a Tuesday, Thursday night, mm. and we would train in the car park outside up to park you know maybe hour and a half everything was done with a ball you know there yeah. was no tactics there was nothing and when it rained we went under the stand and put two crates up and they were the goals you know so it was it was no magic at all yeah. but everyone enjoyed it um and it wasn't like you had to be there you know if i had a basketball match or a cricket match yeah. i would miss that night's training and go yeah. the following week so football was very very enjoyable you know, you play. Mm. You still play for your school team, your district team, and, and looking back, they are they were my favourite days. You know, mm. meeting the lads at the top of the road, yeah. all walk to the to the the park and have a game of football. You know, but and when and when you do play for West Ham on the school holidays, it's very serious. You know, you, yeah. it does it does become very serious. But yeah. it is a shame that a lot of the players do miss out 
on the school football, district football, because you like West Ham take players under nines and they and they're not allowed to do that, mm. which which I think is a real shame. Yeah. I think I think a lot of a lot of nice things are taken away. Because not only that, you, you, you can get in West Ham's team at under nines and they, and they can let you go at under twelves. Yeah, it's ridiculous, it's isn't it? A bit heartbroken and and you do miss out on a so lot, good, a lot but of nice. Things. From your perspective, why why did it work? Well, we had such a bad pre. Can I go back to that? We had such yeah, a bad of course you can. We 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 lost our last our last pre season game was against Leighton Orient and we yeah. lost two 0 at Leighton Orient, and the fans were knocking on the changing room door to get to the players. So it was that bad. And yeah. then, uh, and then, like, like John signed Wardy and Frank on during that week, mm. uh, and those two made an unbelievable difference. But even even our first seven games, we only won one game. Yeah, one game yeah. in the first seven, and then I think we drew at Sheffield Wednesday. I think Neil Law scored. Mm. which were two all. And then we just got on a little bit of a run. And, and once you start winning and drawing games, you just get more confident. Sure. And then, you know, we had, we had a good, I think even at the beginning, we had a meeting, the team wasn't working hard enough, the lads and that were, a few words were said. We mm. needed to do things differently. And um, we, we just got on a run, a bit of confidence. You know, we had, we had very, very good players as well. Yeah. And uh, we just went on and on and, just, just took off really. Yeah. So um, I, I, I would, I would, I would say like Wardy and Frank definitely made a big difference. They, they brought that something to the team that we needed, like a bit of aggression, mm. uh, will to win. You know, they had something about them, the two of them, and and they kind of dragged us along. Yeah. To a certain extent. Yeah. You know, so uh, there, there was lots of different things, but no injuries. We had a, a constant team all the way through. Mm. Um. And then we, you know, we just played nice football, and we just we just got on a run, and uh, just just we, you know, we just won lots of games. Clive, yeah. Who was the toughest player? Uh, who would have uh, marked him? Who's the, who's the toughest defender you came up against? Basically, um, I didn't really come up against the defenders. I know. I, I remember a really really difficult game was against Wimbledon, like the yeah. crazy game. That was a very, very intimidating game. And yeah. we, we were playing at Upton Park. It was Fashionu, Jones, Wisey. Wow. And they were very, very intimidating. And I yeah. and I remember standing there marking fashion. Well, I think I used to, I used to do the near post. Yeah. So if it comes short, I have to do the ball, you know. And so the and Fashionu has just walked past me and he's elbowed me right in the face. Oh. And I kind of uh, I kind of like well, my tongue was kind of hanging off a little bit, and uh, and I've gone over to the ref, I'm like a bit of a baby made ref. Look, at he's done, look, at he's done, yeah. And I think yeah. Willie really Jones might say, Oh, you'll get more of that during the game. That, that, and I found that quite we lost 3 1 that day, yeah. And I think a lot of it, we we, we kind of we tried to be a little bit like them, and yeah, we, we just weren't good at that. But yeah. when I think we, we went away from home and we played them off the park. And we, you yeah. know, John said, you can't get involved in that. You just play your football, mm. and, we, and we did really well. But I remember that was that was a really difficult game that day. It was a real—I've never seen that 